And when we had this inquiry, it was about three years ago, and uh, we were supposed to be doing a destination wedding in Bodrum, and then the lovely COVID hit. Um, so it really started off from a destination and then it ended up as a staycation in the UK. quite a few challenges really from going from destination to a staycation. Coming to England we've got great grounds but we can't guarantee the weather so we ended up putting up a glass box really so it felt like the wedding was outdoor but it's really obviously enclosed. <laughs> family were really wanted to do like you know a game session on Saturday so we said why don't we take that a little bit further then and why don't we get a professional company in to actually do real five-side football let's play <laughs> look at the family input on an event, I think it's really important that they're on board with you because if you're taking um, a DJ out of an after party, which sounds completely bonkers, and you're putting in live instruments and singers and maybe a seashell lounge, then you're stepping out of everyone's normal train thought. What we are as a company is pushing those boundaries out. <laughs> I always say to people, so you're getting someone who's like me, like logistics and planning and architectural, but then you've got Shittal who's so smart with sort of like design, colours and fashion. So you're sort of getting two planners in one with Silver Fox events. The minimum amount of space really, you get the plastic up. So like this distance. When you're doing multiple events, once you're doing event number one, you've just got to make sure that your team are on it with event number two and then maybe three. So it's really about the planning. You know, and I call myself like the architect because I think it's really important that you put the structure in place. You'll never be able to set up all those events yourself. That really then leads into your team, you know, and I'm so, so grateful to the team that we have. So you do the bride side. When you nail that event and when bride's father comes to you and gives you that hug and says, thank you so much, you did it. Like, that was what my daughter wanted. That's the most ultimate feeling on the planet. If you get that feeling, then you should stay in the game. And if you don't, then don't bother. <laughs> Out you go.